Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here at the Perkins stand at Con Expo 2023 and Paul Muller to join me. Yeah. Paul, this is another big, fantastic launch moment it for is. the Perkins team. We're stood here with the batteries we saw in Bauma, but we've got another little thing to discover and we're going to talk about it in a moment. Yeah. So, the batteries are yep. now here. Yeah, we've got the batteries. really are get a hit of the show today. Tell me a little bit about the batteries and what you've been doing with them. Definitely. So we've got the batteries here. So first time in North America, you know, we, we had them over at Balmer last year where, you know, we had a talk about them yep. then. So on the stand here, we've got the, uh, the 48 volt, uh, 32 kilowatt hour battery, 300 volt, 64 kilowatt hour. Also have a 600 volt, 64 kilowatt hour battery Ooh. as well. Oh, that's a new one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So just have the all three of them. Yep. Um, and you know, these batteries are designed for different applications, different size machines, different customers need different things. Also, if you need more power, you can actually use multiple of the batteries in one machine. So Stack you can them up. Yeah, yeah, put them next to each other, lie them down, you know. I've seen some applications with four or five of these batteries in there to, uh, to wow. get the amount of energy on board that they need to run for a day's worth of work. Um, you know, the batteries, they're modular design, got a battery management system built into them, got telematic systems built into it. Right. Uh, you know, active or passive cooling, depending on the type of application and what we need to do. Uh, but yeah, it's really great to show them here at, at Con Expo and have them on the stand here. And I think what's really funny about Con Expo, you see behind us together, we power ahead because it's electric power as well as diesel power now, it, isn't it? Exactly. And, you know, that's so our new strap line, you know, together we power ahead. I think it says what we're trying to achieve as Perkins. You know, we are working with our customers and together we are moving into the future, powering different applications in different ways and getting the right solution for the customer, depending on what they need to do. And it's together we power ahead. So. Exactly. So come around here, folks, because what we're seeing here is the actual back end of the battery. And it's really important here because we, we talked about it here. Yep. We can see the modularization there. That's exactly. really important, isn't it? Yeah, so the, the two batteries we've got here, is, like I said, it's a modular design. So it's built up, this one's built up of six modules. That one's built up of 12 modules. So, you know, each of these modules, they're uh, 48 volt modules, 5.2 kilowatt hours. Um, gives a lot of flexibility. You know, we're starting with these three initial sizes but you know, we can build them up and stack them in different ways. And it also allows us to do some other interesting things that we're gonna talk about in a moment. That's right, folks. And this is why I've come here, because we've got a little secret over here, folks, we're gonna reveal. Come on then, Paul, let's have a look. Yeah. So. Paul, it's an engine, but guess what I've spotted? We've just talked about the back end of the battery pack. There's one of them here, Paul. Exactly, so yeah. Same battery, 5.2 kilowatt hour, 48 volt battery. Yeah. So this is our hybrid engine that we're showing here at Connex Bay for the first time. Uh, you know, really builds on what we've done previously. So back in Bauma 2019 and Connex Bay 2020, we showed initial hybrid concepts. Right, right. But this is actually a, the, a, a more fully fledged system. And, you know, we've got this inner machine in Peter in the UK where, where I'm based up out and running and we've got loads of hours on it and the guys love using it so yeah it's a full hybridized system and allows us to, to do some different things and use the mixture of diesel and electricity to power the machine i love this right why do i love this because this is a stage five engine stage five engines you really want to work them but optimize them as well yep. so when you optimize an engine and it can actually feed in and power the battery you're really using every drop cleverly aren't you exactly Paul? Yep. Allow, you know by this is a sort of 75 kilowatt total system yeah yeah so we've got a 55 kilowatt engine along with a 20 kilowatt motor generator unit right and by doing using the two together it means we can size the engine to run at a more optimal point more of the time so running a, a higher load factor the engine stays happier the after treatment works better um, but, and also the fuel consumption gets lower because you've got a more optimized engine that runs in a better way. Then got the 20 kilowatt motor generator unit, yep. you know, tied up with a battery uh, through an inverter that can then be utilized when you need that extra power to hit the 75 kilowatts that the machine requires. I think the other thing that's interesting that we're showing here is we've also tied it with our uh, transmission that we've got from within oh, the enterprise. Right. Okay, so yeah, this yeah. is ours as well. So this whole system end to end, PG115 transmission, uh, power shift transmission that you know, gives that complete package for backhoe or telehandle type applications. So what's really interesting about the backhoe, as we know, and telehandlers and things like that, they're running around the yeah. site, you know, driving around the site. They're not going to need the full power uh, to do that. But then when they're doing the heavy lifting and the grunt Correct. work, as we call it, then they're actually going to need that power. And then you're basically using the electric to boost that power then, aren't exactly. you? Exactly. 
and knowing when to boost it's a really difficult part and you oh. know the bit so they have a big bit and why it's on the side of the stand the uh, energy control module there the ecm that we have and that what's special about what we have on here compared to some of our competitors is that energy control module is looking at the engine it's looking at the motor it's looking at the transmission and the battery and optimizing the whole system in one go so we, right so you've got a holistic approach exactly. so the complete power this is why we've turned together we power ahead Precisely. isn't it because the, the, together you, you put it all together in this instance and therefore people can utilize the whole system and its control system. This is really interesting. Yeah. Because if you're trying to control all of these things to optimize, you need to know what everything is doing at the same time, don't you? Precisely. It's yeah. that knowing what's going on in the system, looking around at all the inputs, you know, what's the transmission telling the engine, what's the engine telling the motor, you know, we can do look at that, look at how energy is moving around the system, you know, when's the optimum time to charge the battery versus when should we be pulling power out of the battery. You know, we can do all that and by having a single controller that's looking across of it rather than having multiple controllers spread around all trying to talk to each other, we can really optimize that, reduce the fuel consumption, you know, lower the carbon emissions of the system as well, you know, and really deliver an excellent bit of customer value. And the good thing about this is the package because it's smaller, it's confined, yeah. smaller, bigger engine. Yes, we put that on as well, but the whole package that you put together means that you can fit it into machines which are getting smaller, Paul. Exactly, you yeah. Know. You know, so this is just an example of what we can do. Yeah. You know, we can look at other different engines, you know, maybe hydraulic pumps on the back rather than a transmission, but you know, it's that systems approach. And by having it all tied together, yeah, you can minimize the number of components, make the package as small as possible, get it into these applications that, uh, that need the power, but yeah, different ways of doing it. And all the sensors and all the technology is right there. And I think what's really exciting about this is we are literally taking the battery technology, moving it forward to the hybrid and showing the three different solutions now, full battery yeah. power, hybrid, and of course, the diesel engine as well. Exactly, and that's the big message from the Perkins that you know, different applications, different customers need different solutions. Yeah, yeah. So we want to be able to offer that range and when a customer comes to us, we can work with them through our customer solutions team to come up with what is the right answer for them and yep. therefore offer them the right solution rather than just what we have. We can offer them a customized solution. And of course, the customized solution doesn't stop with this hybrid or the battery bar. We've got a new engine. Come on, Paul, let's go and see the new engine. Come on. Paul, here we have a new engine. We do. From Perkins. Yep. And it's a large engine, Paul. It, it is a large <laughs> engine. What have we got here and why is it different and significant? It's a very significant engine. So this is our new 2606 engine. Uh, it's a 13 litre engine. So uh, peak power is uh, 515 kilowatts, so 690 horsepower. Yep. And those are quite important numbers. So this is going from 340 up to 515. And actually this 12 litre, uh, 13 litre engine will replace in the future our 13, 15 and our single 2 18 litre engine. So going across a wide range, it's got the highest power density in the market, uh, yep. you know, 40 uh, kilowatts per litre. Um, and it's a completely clean sheet design, you know, for a big change, I think 30 years since the last major overhaul of this size class. So really, really big change for us at Perkins. So there is a really, really big message here together. The rebrand, I love it, you know, together we power ahead, but equally all of the different technologies that we're putting in, we're making engines smaller, making them more powerful. Correct. We can go from 18 down to 13 litres. Yep. That is going to be a huge fuel saving for people on this engine. It is, and there's lots of other savings in there as well. You know, this engine has been really focused on uh, reducing the total cost of ownership for the customers. Yep. You know, so we've got the fuel savings that's going to run more efficiently. Also things like this engine's got hydraulic lash adjusters, so for servicing is a lot simpler. Uh, looking at thousand hour fuel and oil filter changes as well. So, you know, really trying to give that extra customer value and looking, you know, it's the engine for the future, it's the platform we're going to take forward with, uh, with us into the future. Well, it's a great future that we're revealing here at Con Expo. Well done, Paul. Fantastic you, to see you again. Yeah, and you. Great stuff from Perkins. Yeah.